Hey, what do you do? What it is? What it was? This is your boy Poultry, one of the Poultry Lab podcast today. Today, it's bands in this. It's bands from the Rose. Everybody, make way for a real one coming out of Northern California, Santa Rosa, seven oh seven to be exact. Say it backwards. That's seven oh savage. You feel me? Band seven oh seven. Bands from the Rose. Bands. Whatever you want to call it. He's a real one from Santa Rosa. That's it. This is my hometown. Yes, yeah, Santa Rosa, California. Biggest city in the North Bay. What we call it. What some haters want to say we ain't the Bay. It's at the top of the Bay. You feel me? The North Bay. 7 Savage. That's right. Quick man about bands. I just want to say this. The first thing I saw about bands was I was getting a haircut in Santa Rosa in HD Barbershop. Shout out. And there's a homie named his name. But uh, he's from the P. And uh, he's a real one. You feel me? Our families are really close. And he was like, man, there's this rapper that's coming out, bro. And I was, this is when I was just coming uh, back from Los Angeles. And he's like, bro, this one's really doing it. And uh, I just been telling him, bro, you just got to get your city behind it. You, you know, you know, and you're going to do it. You're going to do it well. What happens? And who was it? Bands. And the homie that who was telling me this was a real one. And, and, and you know, real, real respected stepper in, in Santa Rosa, you know, and from all sides, respect him from enemies to all, from different neighborhoods. For him to say this, I knew that this guy was good, good in terms of all that street stuff. Then I heard his music and I was like, what? Like, I didn't even know Northern California guys were rapping like, like at this level. I had no idea, bro. I had no idea that these dudes were were doing it like like bands. I mean, this guy. I mean, his, he's a very unique style. He he has all this idea. He has like this North North Daniel DMX vibe going. You feel me? He's a player too. He has swag. Uh, some of his earlier music was a real like gutter music. Like this, there's this dope song where he's in prison, and he's like the beats real like um. Like, I can't explain this. It's not heavy, but it's real like simple, but really like. Like something you would make in prison. It feels like you're in prison. It's 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 something amazing. And uh so I heard that and I was like, dang, oh, the homie's really doing his thing. And then I saw him at this uh I think there's a it's the Mac Dre birthday thing they do every year in Oakland. So he was doing his thing and then he got locked up and then he got back out and he went on a run. And then he did this shout out to Shimo Media. Man, he did this like uh, the first cipher he ever did. And he said, uh, man, what did he say? I wish I could say, um, I'm not from Vallejo. I'm, I'm from Rosa. And that's one of the biggest, that little bar, bro, it says so much about about like said the 707, like respects to Vallejo, but we're like three or four times bigger than Vallejo, maybe just two or three times. Vallejo is more of the representative of the North Bay. I'm not going to lie. But Santa Rosa is like a more mexican city you feel me and now more and more santa rosa starting to get talent so respects to santa rosa a while back i did a i did a whole little spew on bands and this is the time when people are hating on people calling kings and all this stuff and remember people this is why i can't stand street politics in the music industry hip-hop hip-hop is a competitive sport it's a competitive sport and it's okay to say kings come take the crown you feel me i've already kinged him the king of the 707 rico the king of sack i thought he was kind of the face of, of northern california but right now i'm feeling like bands is kind of taking that place now he's taking his rightful place uh shout out to rico he did do a, a pretty dope uh diss track to chito uh, i thought he stayed pretty much you know in bounds of what they've all both been talking about he did the uh, the diss at the park that re, uh that uh is the chito's from howie park or something like that i guess it's been taken over by northerners and bloods or something he did it was a good song see if chito claps back the, all what, what again only thing i have about all this is that it's cool to have people dissing each other but then when it bleeds into the streets it's unhealthy for our people and it's something that I want to bring up. I'm documenting and talking about what's going on in California for the most part in when in regards to Latinos. And the more of the street stuff, the more edgy stuff that people don't get reported on. You feel me? So shout out to Rico. And then I did, I did real quick, I did Doughboy in the IE. I did a bunch of people. I did Asito overall. I did all these things and people got butt hurt about that and they got all up in their feelings. But I was just trying to show you all that it's okay to say somebody's the dopest right now. You can take it anytime and music is subjective. You funny guys. Don't make me bring it out, bro. Don't make me bring it out so I gotta regulate you. I wanna have to regulate you fools, but I will. Bands came out with this with this bar that said, B, B I'm from, Ro uh, I'm not from Vallejo, I'm from Rosa or whatever. And I'm sorry, I'm not saying it right because I'm doing this in the moment. But it explained all the no love we get in Santa Rosa, even though we're the biggest city in the North Bay. So the biggest cities in the Bay Area are San Francisco, Oakland for the East Bay, San Jose for the South Bay, and Santa Rosa for the North Bay. But because we're a little bit up, not right there like Vallejo is, you know, there's a little tussle. Plus, there's just so much shout out to Vallejo, though. There's a lot of love there. My old barber's from there, even though he's in San Jose right now. He's in Vallejo. He's from North Vallejo. Shout out to all the homies. Oh, I mean, we don't, let's not talk about the talent. Mac Dre, E-40, all the homies that came out of there, bro. It's a beautiful place, and I'm proud to have Vallejo as part of the North Bay. But we from Rosa, you feel me? So when he did that, I went, I must have went crazy. I think I did 
the funniest story of just like going wild. I got into his music. I'm feeling it. And, and for me, I'm always kind of struggling because I'm older. And I'm trying to kind of grow. But some of this gangster music, bro, I love it, bro. I can't deny it. You know, it taps into a part of me, bro, that I just like. Plus, I'm not going to deny that it's not great workout music. He kills everybody on that mic drop. He wasn't even, they weren't no disrespect, but they weren't even on his level. And then uh, he starts to move forward. He does stuff with CML. He's doing things with, you know, with Gold Rose. He goes to Houston. He's moving all over the place. You feel me? I'm not, I, I forgot that I did a video on him already, so I don't want to get too redundant. He's been pushing and moving and really striving. And then he does, he's done a couple of videos, of course, where he's like saying F the treaty and kind of clapping back and all this kind of st perceived unity stuff. And again, I want to tell you guys that I don't think not me or Goltos or any of us are trying to say like, let's have a treaty and let's like best friends and stuff like that. All we're saying is our experience in Los Angeles made us want to go tell all the homies, hey, bro, it's fun over here. Let's have a good time. You know, meet the people you want to and meet the people you and you don't have to meet the people you don't got to work with the people you don't want yesterday i was on a dope live with tres homie hangout and mudville media shout out to all three of those brothers that was a dope uh live go check it out on mudville media shout out to stockton especially the south side and the east side i'll be hanging out was it trying to explain what kind of like some of us that are perceived to be people that are into this whole treaty thing or like this whole unity thing i'm sorry it's not that he explained it really well let's all just do what we want to do and stop getting in each other's way like if you want to work with somebody from la you're a northerner you were a northerner and you became an artist and you know that's your roots if there's somebody in la you like to work with you should feel comfortable working with that with no drama no hate no 50 videos made on you if you're a southerner that like somebody from Northern California can admit it you know what I mean that you're influenced by them <laughs> right now at least even though we were influenced by y'all in the 90s so relax and the 90s was probably a better time anyway if they can admit that that you know they could work with somebody up north you know and make crazy music bro you know I was trying to get Rico with with Grimy you know with um Swifty I was trying to get bands with Swifty I was trying to get Lefty with Rico you guys saw what happened honestly I feel like I'm doing I'm not helping the situation. So that's another thing I'm going to be speaking on. The second half of this video will be speaking on the No Paper podcast and where I feel like that's a very good platform. A lot of y'all feel like I'm like the voice of Northern California or like that I'm something and I'm not. I really am. And I've never perceived, I've never tried to be. Anybody that knows me in the streets knows that I'm humble and I don't try to be Mr. Super. None of that. And until people weirdos on the internet started trying to tell my story for me, I had to speak up for myself. But another, besides that, besides telling my own story, I'm not an advocate for this Northern California thing. And I don't agree with everything that they say on that podcast, but I think that's a better place for you all that are super into like Northern California stuff and North Daniel stuff. Like go over there, y'all. I'm moving in a direction that is like culture more, uh, talking to elders. I'm going to be moving in a different direction. You know what I mean? Because this stuff is just, it's starting to just not make feel too good. But at the same time, I'm not, you know me, I'm not afraid of any kind of keeping it 100. And right now we still keeping it 100. So back to bands. So bands, he's moving around now. So I told you, CML, Houston. He makes a song, with, you know, no treaty, all that. And I can kind of sense we follow each other and it's all love. But I feel like he again is also in put in the situation where I think that his his as an artist, he wants to just be himself. And I really suspect that he moved to Miami and all that, so you could like you know what I mean, fill that out there. But I think we all need to eventually come home. You feel me? And uh, inspire the people that we grew up with here. But there's so much hate in my city. You know, if you guys know, uh, there's a lot of hate in Santa Rosa. A lot of people never left Santa Rosa, and so they hate on people who who left and who are kind of think open minded, who didn't have 47 kids when they were like 12. You know, and you know actually had a life first before they started like making babies that they got to take care of for the rest of their lives. Babies making babies in Santa rose but respects to them so in santa rosa there's just a sickness there's a sickness called being hella regular they love being regular they love nine to five jobs they love the baseball games on the weekends the soccer moms they just love it and it is a nice environment santa rosa is 45 minutes north of san francisco 20 minutes from the coast i mean surrounded by foothills but because there's not that much like entertainment or there is that's the funny part but it's for rich people because there's we're surrounded by the wine country we're surrounded by food tourism but it's expensive right and so the hood people don't get that and so there's not much to do so for the hood people santa rosa can be kind of like like madera or modesto or something you know or stockton or fresno some kind of like born central cali city respectfully you know what i mean because we're so close to the coast our we're around tourism and there's actually a lot of money to be made and that's why i moved home from los angeles because i saw that you can make money in your own town i was when i grew up this is another thing people are always like oh you know you're coming to la to take over we'll do no bro i moved to la to, for opportunity for jobs for a change because i didn't want to be mr norte anymore i wanted to be chava 
you know, Salvador, like, why did I, Pocho didn't come to way later, you know what I mean? You know, and so that's why I moved to LA. And again, why Gold Toes is doing this, because you all are making this into this whole conspiracy of all these other things. We're men conducting business in major cities, San Francisco, Oakland, Sacramento, San Diego, and yes, Los Angeles. Yes, Los Angeles. <laughs> I am so amazed by all these Cholo Karens that worry so much, these gangster Karens. And everybody, gangster Karen is my term. It's my turn. Gold Toes is calling me, but I can't pick up right now, homie, because I'm in my vibe right now. Back to this. So isn't that crazy? I was just talking about Gold Toes and he calls. We don't have a conspiracy. There's like those those videos about, you know, the conspiracies on Gold Toes and wearing, like, you know, Jenny wearing the red and this and that. And, and then Bozo recently did this whole thing about, you know, Gold Toes coming. And then he tried to say Baldacci looked bad, but Baldacci was just making excuses. He just buffoonery that's another thing and i'm kind of jumping all over the place but the reason why i'm not feeling bozo and all that is because the reason why i speak up is because there's so many south siders that are hospitable and he pretends to be hospitable he contradicts himself everything he does he says he doesn't care about the north day but all he does is talk about the north day he's known for talking about the north day you know he's literally one of the main people that does it and he's always complaining about not talking about it. So, bro, I hate when people say, I didn't want to talk about this, but we're, you're talking about it. Me, I'm, I'm saying that I'm moving it. I want to move in another direction. But right now I'm talking about this. So we talking about this. And there's no conspiracy. We're all conducting business. And why do I ramble on about that? Because bands goes to no jumper. Boom. Adam, Adam interview. Yes, he did do Lazy, and yes, I, Lazy was a dope interview, but I do think that Bands is going to be a great representative of Northern California artists, and if you want to talk about North Daniels too, because he went to prison, and that, all y'all need that, they got to go to prison, that's like, if you don't go to prison, you know, you know. such a, this one trying to tell you guys, this culture is so backwards, a culture that tells you to go get locked up like a slave to prove you're a man. When in reality, you are so dehumanized that you lose your manhood in there in so many ways. Think about how crazy this is, people. You guys have to snap out of this. You have to snap out of this buffoonery of thinking gangsters. The reality, bro, is most of these gangsters can't fight. Most of these gangsters use guns because they know they'll get whooped up by a dude like me. That grew up in a period when I grew up in the, the most dopest part of the 90s. So all the people after, in my opinion, no disrespect, but it's kind of like a wannabes because what we were doing, we were really moving as a unit for something. And now, what is it? That's why I don't even want to rep be the representative of anything. And I'm going to give you an, a, a podcast that you can go check out that kind of stuff. And, and not be here for that because i'm not i didn't get into this for that but bands goes over there and the whole internet explodes just because of one man going to a one man podcast imagine how powerful my people are imagine how powerful bands is when he can go just to another just to a podcast and the internet explodes and it, it hasn't even come out yet but what i like bands is i really feel like bands is not gonna like shy away from this he's gonna really put it in and you know it sucks that he might you know put back a lot of progress but remember the progress that i'm talking about y'all is just not having to always bump up against oh what neighborhood is he from where does he go like we said on shout to nino america and fools to men podcast episode two is out clips and everything episode three coming soon shout out west texas to northern california to la to the world new york miami everywhere chicago for sure think about that bro every time somebody just goes to an interview just as a song on this side you make this big deal out of it the reason why another uh, youtuber that i can't even say his name because he's not in good standings or whatever I, I maybe i don't even want to take a chance this time because last time i didn't even know about all this and i shot out some people i guess that weren't in good standing and i got not in trouble but like a little you know a little little talking to him and i you know i take it i'm up for suggestions and i'm teachable it's not my program nobody's bigger than the program and i mean every program from the south program north program and god's program i, I respect all programs so he goes to a uh, no jumper and you see adam with the red on and finally i like that you know that that he was wearing red because i kind of felt like lazy and them should have went up there flamed up i would have went to no jumper if i ever get to no jumper which i don't know if i ever will but if i ever did get to no jumper i will be flamed 
I will be flamed up just because why not? You feel me? I mean, I'm so gangster with that. I like to wear, you know, hella blue too now, you know, you can do that. Goes and we're waiting for the interview and I, or interview to come out. But I just wanted to point out even before it comes out that, bro, people, we have to let go of this gang stuff when it comes to the music industry. We have to, we have to let it, we gotta let it go because why do we have to let it go? It always contradicts progress. It's, it's always putting barriers where we need to put bridges. Every time you need to put a bridge somewhere, it puts a barrier and blows that bridge up. And then messes up the network. Look what happened with the full community. Me, that was over that. Look at what happened with all these other things that are not work. Look at the state of our culture now, the state of the hip hop. It's more about gossip than the bars. It's more about where the artist is from than what the artist is actually saying and doing and, and the quality of his music. And I love, you know, this no paper podcast. Shout out to BFD and the white the white boy next to him. Respects respect him. I'm not even trying to be like that, but I like how he acts. And then the big homie I think from Stockton. He was one of the ones that stepped up when people were trying to hit on gold toes. I really like how they talk about issues and they don't disrespect nobody, but they just keep it real. You know, some of the things I like about them is that uh, they're talking, they're giving you an experience of how most people feel in Northern California. Most people don't probably don't feel like me, but I'm not going to stop. I'm a leader. I'm not going to stop leading this is what i believe i believe we need to step away from all these gang politics when it comes to the music industry that doesn't mean you have to stop being a gangster you don't have to stop being a homie that just means put that to the side when we're trying to make forward progress in our art system that's different than a gang system it just makes no sense it's like taking diabetes drugs for cancer i mean it just it doesn't match up people and it never will and that's why we never will be taken serious and that's why we've never had a superstar that's why lefty's not going to be a superstar and that's why hopefully you know i don't know if bands is going to become a superstar because he's holding on to the gang politics too you know he just came out with a dope song man a dope song bands i want you to know if you see this that was a beautiful song there's somebody that's reoccurring in all his videos right in the front i'm not going to say who it is but i grew up with him i used to hustle with him i used to for him and I used to get it from him. And when I would go to college, bro, I'd come back. I would I would get it from him. You know what I mean? His first name starts with, with an A. I'll just say that much. And he's a good dude, you know, and he understands what I'm trying to do. And one time he told me, man, fans, I want you to know this. You ever see this? You probably won't. But he's like, I knew you were always going to do something like this. And where, where was that? We were at a wedding of his neighborhood, of his homeboys. It was amazing. You know what I mean? And uh, I was taking pictures of one of the homeboys I used to bang with, daughters or his nieces. No, no, no. Because it's two brothers that are from the same hood. So I was taking pictures of the daughter quinceanera of the homie and all the homies were there and he was just giving me props and I, you know i really wanted to help bands be that guy like in terms of you know like be able to like break some barriers just so that our people can move in Santa Rosa and Northern California, move around in LA better and move around in, in Southern California so we can make money. For, so, so our city can be more like not so regular, not so boring. I didn't go so far in this thing this gang thing that i'm not the guy i'm not trying to be the guy and i'm not gonna i'm gonna slowly try to stop speaking all these things but the thing is the people are right here looking at all this stuff and so i want to be here trying to help you navigate these waters because you see a rest how, how many people have rest in peace how many rappers when rest in peace money says why tys uh jalisco um the kid from colorado that used to travieso that used to um that used to us they troll me on my lives on instagram call me a buster all these things i still pray for him and his family bro this isn't the way and and think about the other cultures are going to keep looking at us come on people again this podcast it will give you a uh, understanding of northern california it'll give you a like a i'm on a more not deeper level but i'm coming from like graduate school i'm coming from like trying to like a revolutionary standpoint they're coming from like a real northern california standpoint the only thing that i have an issue with them is that they're like very proud of like they we won't that northern california guys that they talk to won't work with the south it's just it, it boggles my mind to see businessmen talking about how other men won't do business with other men. To me, that's like kind of commandery stuff and kind of kind of lame, homie. To be honest, like like you're not gonna do business with somebody, or rap with somebody just because they're from the other side. It should be because you don't like their music. Do you understand? It shouldn't be because you don't like their who they are. And what they were justifying is saying it's okay to not let you. If we don't f with you, it's okay. It doesn't mean basically BFD and them were saying kind of like if we don't mess with you, it doesn't mean we're being disrespectful. Just means we don't mess with you but if bfd could make a song not bravo i always say him because he's more open-minded but even like a grifo who's another little gangster karen sometimes but like if bfd and grifo made a song which i think bfd's on a whole nother level than grifo so i should probably go like they would do so better together than grifo doing another doing another song with lefty maybe they'd be cool but like 
Bro, two South Siders, that's boring. Let's mix it up. Even if they competed, it could be dynamic. All I'm trying to say, like, let's make this stuff interesting. I think how the Bloods and Crips in LA came together wasn't just because of that. It's because of business, but I do think it's because of the music. We're over here talking about uh, Cole and Kendrick and Cole, man. You went out, homie. I, can, I can't remember. Cole, don't start a fight and then end it by saying, sorry, bro. You're weak. Kendrick Lamar's the man. But I feel like Kendrick Lamar made a big... I feel like Kendrick Lamar was in his area was able to open a lot of barriers and he's not even a blood really he's just from the area see I'm really from my neighborhood from my gang and I'm trying to do help but the thing is I see that people ain't trying to hear me so I just want y'all to hear what my message and then hopefully use a part that you believe in because I this this gang stuff isn't for the next generation it's not going to make sense in AI in the time of AI you're going to be able to create a robot and have them gangbang against your other homies like robots you know like there's going to be robots that we have. we have bigger issues to deal with the north and south and that's why i want to move, move into other topics but while i'm here i'm going to keep it 100 and i want to say that i am proud of bands for getting to know jumper i think it's going to be a dynamic interview i don't think he's going to become a superstar because i think he's going to follow what every rapper does it feels good in the moment you know the, the gangster stuff but long term can you be a superstar if you can't be a superstar get to the masses remember people most people didn't join gangs most people actually think gangs and gang members are kind of silly grown men doing rap videos acting tough one of the comments I, I try to put a positive note bands this thing and i got like seven hate messages man i swear to god these cholo karens are crazy they're like why weren't you there and i'm like bro i'm a grown man with a family dog i want people like oh why are you doing on the internet bro the internet and youtube is is made up of people my age stop it tiktok and all that is for younger people youtube is for people our age speaking about real things and grown-ups are seeing the next generation falling off into these becoming a little addict and doing all this stuff and we're like we, we gotta say something bro like we gotta point it out i respect it all but watching all these men act so think that they're so tough every time you say no that's a barrier instead of a bridge you want to like always say yes if you can try to say yes the more times you say yes in life you'll trip out how your life will become but i do think that they're more like bfd you went to prison every day so you guys for your north Daniel politics and all that stuff go over there okay i respect that i like them and i feel like they have a more legitimate claim for me i'm going to be speaking from a chicano revolutionary standpoint okay trying to get you guys to understand that be just because i talk about what's gangs and or, or respond to things or music or these issues i'm coming from a revolutionary i'm analytical I'm analyzing the situation. I'm not just commenting. Most of these vatos on these podcasts, respectfully, are commenting on things. I'm looking at it analytically and trying to figure it out and figure out why so many people are so suicidal and so dumb. Big, fat, dumb guy running around. He's funny. Why they're just willing to... All of these rappers are going to... Imagine all, this, all the energy they put into their career and just to lose it for a decision they made when they were 15 half of them didn't even join the hood that's another thing that annoys me i actually joined my neighborhood like for real i jumped in everything jump fools in half these fools just claim don't even get jumped did you know that a lot of these fools don't even get jumped into their neighborhoods anymore wild but real quick the the song bro i have to say is a banger bands has a way of bringing like a new style to gangster ass rap <laughs> and then this is i want to say that i want to conclude on just talking about how his new song i don't even know the name of it but it's by sergio shout out to sergio you did a good job you got even deeper with your video uh skills i have to give you that respect but he united the city with this one he did i'm bringing it all the way back to the beginning when i talked about the homie almost said his name his nickname starts with a w and it's an animal <laughs> And he's from the P and his first name starts with the U. So if you know, you know. But this Vato was cutting my hair and talking about bands and how dope this Vato was in that. And how his, not just that he was dope and a real one from uh, another neighborhood than his, but he respected him. But again, you guys, his wordplay. Remember, the, I'm here for the music, not the gang stuff. I already did that when I was a little kid. And you guys, I made a decision to go to college. So none of this gang stuff impresses me. When I was 18 years old, I decided to go to college instead of hang out with my gang homeboys because I thought it was weak. I wanted to go hang out with girls and make money you should be doing not hanging out with a bunch of dudes being tough grown men doing music videos acting tough that is amazing to me bro amazing thinking it's cool if we're going to talk about it, let's talk about it this music video he represents he gets, he shuts out all the hoods in santa rosa he doesn't shout out the other city because other cities have the hoods that are right next to us and they kick it in santa rosa but he gives up respects to all the hoods shows the sickest part is he shows 
them in each of their areas. So shout out to all four of those neighborhoods. He's from another neighborhood, so I guess he doesn't need to say his. So, But it was a dope. The music was good. I played it back a bunch of times. Quality music, quality delivery, quality video, quality tone, um, delivery, community around it in his community, right? Like the people that he supports. Visuals of all Santa Rosa things like Kid and Court, Corby, Beachwood, South Park, moving into West, West Still Lane and 2600 Block. And remember people, if you don't know, I don't know if you know, but my family was in 20. 600 valley oak before the retrans got there even before that over 50 years in south park and center and 2600 west still lane valley oak valley oak park we op baby so anyway the song is dope he, he finally did what i almost said his name what the homie uh said get your city behind you and bands you got your city behind you you honored all the neighborhoods you did the song so dope and even though i'm guessing you don't really feel what I do or what I'm doing. I'm okay with it. I want y'all to know that I, I knew that when I stepped into this role of what and not trying to unify anybody, but just uh, all I'm doing, remember, is just getting on a mic and speaking my belief. And I'm getting all you guys. If you're watching this and you're all in your feelings. <laughs> Just know I'll never know you. History will never know you. It will remember me for doing something that was uncomfortable in the moment. But for long-term gains, like working out, it's uncomfortable in the moment. Like any human sacrifice, uncomfortable in the moment. Most humans are uncomfortable being uncomfortable, though, and that's why they build anxiety. But I'm a real one in these streets, bro. I'm different. And I was built for this. My mother, I'm my, the son of Alicia Sanchez. This is our city. This is our neighborhoods. We, we worked them, and we took them over, and we have served them for over 50 years. So not a bunch of rugrats are going to come and try to hate and define who I am in my city. From my standpoint, I respect what Bands is doing. I'm happy he went to No Jumper. I think it's going to be a great interview. He did a great video. I do think that he will eventually hit a ceiling and he won't be able to go any higher because he will remain in gang politics the same as Lefty. And hopefully Goldtoes can help him see the light so he can be like Baby Bash. So he can be like all these other people. I don't even want to say SPM because you guys go crazy. But Goldtoes helped. I mean, SPM was always doing his thing, but I think Goldtoes helped him take him. He learned from him, but I think he also took SPM to another level. And this is just the music. People don't freak out. Bands in this. Respects to you. Respects to all the homies. Respects to the ones that got love for me and respects to the ones that don't. I really do this because I care about my people and I want to see a better light for my, my seeds and for the seeds of the homies, especially the ones that aren't here anymore. For their families, bro, it's not. Maybe for us, it's something for, for their for their mother. The cause doesn't mean anything to TYS's mother, to Jalisco's mother, to Travi's mother, to Money Suede Side's mother. So let's respect these causes. Let's respect these programs. But let's elevate people. You respect. I told you, nothing's bigger than the program. Nobody's. I respect like, I don't interact with dropouts or whatever because I kind of respect the program and because I didn't go that far. There's so many of us that respect the program, even though it's not part of our thing, you know, but let's, you can respect it by kind of creating this alternative program that kind of respects it. Like what the homie hangout said, if it makes sense, make it make sense. If you like somebody's music and you want to work with them in LA, that's fine. And if you don't like somebody's music in LA or in your own city, that's fine. It's music is subjective people. Let's get back to the music. Let's leave gang politics in 2024. In 2025, let's move forward. Portugal One said it. This is your boy, Portugal One. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and deal with the real one in the field. You feel me? Because I'm really trying to bring you my truth. And how are you going to hate on me when it's just my truth? If you don't like it, turn the page. If you don't like it, there's no reason for you to get all like a Karen, like all these Karens, Playgirl, Playgirl, whatever, 200 girls podcast over there crying at the chat. Playgirl, you can't even handle the chat, bro. Your own chat doesn't even respect you. You don't see my chat talking to me like that. Oh, peeing over there and, you know, going through old business and some bunch of gossip down there, bro. Up here in Northern California, people, let's do it better. Let's show the homies that we can even bring, lift them up out of their, you know, misery of gossip and hating on each other, you know? And I like how the no paper podcast, how they conduct themselves like gentlemen. And I disagree with a lot of things they were saying, actually, but I re respect how they conducted themselves. And then for that, I can give them their respects and say you guys should go check out their podcast because I feel like you'll get a good perspective of like Northerners or Northern California Chicano guys. I'm coming again from a more revolutionary Chicano standpoint. Okay. Just want to be clear. This is your boy Pocho One and I'm out.